dear students namaste let us discuss the new pharmacological practical as per new pci syllabus for the pharmacological practical which is framed by pci and what is the title of the today's discussion screening of cns a depressant and stimulants with the help of or by actophotometry this is your experiment related to the pharmacology practical with the help of actophotometer we can check uh, or we can screening the cns depressant or cns stimulant drugs myself mr bichit ankush katre working as a lecturer in kcd krishna college of pharmacy kar if you are not subscribing my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon for the next updates so what are the practical outcome for the today's practical practical number 1 Explain the working of actophotometer for the evaluation of locomotor activity. How it works with the help of different parts which is connected each other, and with the help of this, we can evaluate the locomotor activity. Point number second or practical outcome is second. We describe the use of actophotometer in the evaluation of CNS depression and stimulant drugs. So dear students we are using two different categorized drugs and from that we can discuss what is the activity of cns depressant and cns stimulant drugs on animals with the help of actophotometer so these are two outcomes after completion of this practical student should uh, know about this all these two practical outcomes now let us discuss what is the theory behind the experiments According to title, the CNS depressant and CNS stimulants these are the two categories, and these are the four different points. CNS depressant drugs that decrease the activity of CNS that is brain and spinal cord. CNS stimulant drugs that depress that increase the activity of CNS by inhibiting inhibited neurotransmitter. In CNS depressants. they inhibit the stimulatory neurotransmitters stimulatory neurotransmitter means they inhibit the catecholamine nucleus they stop the release of some uh, stimulatory neurotransmitters like dopamine like nonephedrine these are the stimulatory neurotransmitters decrease the locomotor activity in cns depressant whereas increase the locomotor activity in cns stimulant drugs this is the basic uh, the theory behind this today's experiment cns depressants decrease the locomotor activity whereas cns stimulant drug increase the locomotor activity but what do we mean by locomotor activity it is nothing but the movement of the animal after administration or before administration of drug how it move into that activity cage of the actophotometer and that is the, your observation so point number 4 it release the inhibited neurotransmitter and these are the different examples for cns stimulants it release stimulated neurotransmitters stimulated neurotransmitters are catecholamine nucleus from that there is release of some neurotransmitters called dopamine whereas release inhibited neurotransmitter in that in that we uh, release the gaba chemicals now let us discuss the next point what is the instrument what is the exact principle of this uh, actophotometer we are using one of the instrument to check the locomotor activity in animal so what is the use of that instrument to check the locomotor activity or for the studying the locomotor activity with the help of this actophotometer how it connects how it operates it operates with the photoelectric cell which is connected with the circuit of the counter and this actophotometer is divided into three parts photo cell light source and the counter the photo cells capture the light source and shows the reading shows the count what is the exact principle or what is the process of recording of this actophotometer how we count the reading or how we count is record a count is recorded when the beam of light falling on the photo cell is cut off by the movement of mice means the beam of light which is cut by the movement of light we can count or we get the count reading or we count the different readings 
with the help of the animal movement now let us discuss we are talking different drugs animal and dose we are using for this experiment we are using mice number of count of animal is 5 not less than 20 g of the weight drug diazepam dose strength is a 4 mg per kg and second drug is a caffeine this is the categorized into cns stimulant drugs 30 mg per kg now what is the procedure so these are the different points of the procedure we are using the healthy mice five healthy mice not less than 20 g the weight and these all animals are placed in activity chamber in that actophotometer and then we count the reading and then after we administer the drug diazepam as well as caffeine according to the time duration via intraperitoneal route and then we can check the uh, what is the activity of locomotor activity of that now let us see the procedure video now see this is the your instrument actophotometer into that these are the uh, photoelectric cells at the bottom we can say this is the stainless steel rod where we place your animal this is the activity chamber this is the lid we can open that lid with the help of hands and place that animal into this activity chamber and then after we uh, start the instrument and uh, we can check the uh, count or locomotor activity of the animal so these are the light sources this is the another side photo cell which connect with the circuit which connect with the counter reading and this is the main switch this is the counter this is the shock on off switch we can on the shock now these are the animals we can select the animal and then we place that animal into the activity chamber see this with the help of the tail we can hold that animal and place into the activity chamber and then after we check this count this count due to movement of uh, animal the count is increased due to light is cut due to movement of the animal and then after we administer the dose of diazepam as well as caffeine according to the duration of time and then after then after we can count the uh, reading what is the uh, what the response is increase or decrease we count after the observation now see, see this is the observation table in serial number 1 this is the number of animals we are used for the practical purpose uh, in this experiment this is another column body weight then according to body weight we can calculate the dose from the dose strength of the diazepam and this is the locomotor count before drug after drug and according to that from that we can calculate the percent decrease and how to calculate this with the help of this uh, formula so let us discuss one by one how to calculate this uh, dose and the difference count uh, first i will discuss with you uh, how to calculate the dose dear students as per the dose given the diazepam having 4 mg per kg the original size so that's why we convert that 4 mg per 1000 g and our body weight i am taking the example of one animal 20 g we cross multiply the values and according to that we got the first dose for the animal number 1 it is 0.080 ml this is with the help of this we can calculate the dose according to the body weight of the animal so now we can now you calculate according to your body weight of the animal and dose strength and then inject that dose to the animal now then after how to calculate the decrease percent dear student i am just taking the one example before drug for animal number 1 we count, we got the count is 130 locomotor count and after drug that count is decreased due to the uh, diazepam is a cns decreasing depression drug now what happen we can uh, we want to calculate the percent due to the uh, de percent decrease so that's why we just first cross multiply these two values for 130 we can take the 100% locomotor activity for 71% how much percent is decreased then we calculate this now 
the cross according to cross multiple we got this value 54.61 and the percent decrease value we can subtract that value from the 100 why because we want to calculate the percent decrease score according to the review article according to this resource and i got the 45.39 percent decreased activity for one animal now you can calculate for each animal according to this formula you take the screenshot and complete your calculation and then after this is my graphical record this is my graph after administration of the drug diazepam these are the different bars uh, on x-axis we can take the animals and uh, number of animal count and uh, y-axis we take the locomotor activity this is also same uh, for the second drug second drug is a caffeine caffeine is a cna stimulant drugs these are the body weight caffeine dose we can calculate the dose of the caffeine according to the body weight and there is a difference between the after and before drug and then we can calculate the percent increase in this formula also we can use the same formula which is previous one i already discussed with you now this is the graph for the cna stimulant drug if you see the after drug activity is increased due to CNS stimulant drug and let us discuss the summary of this result. The diazepam is the category of CNS depressant drug. Before drug it was showing 131.2 standard error mean 1.88 after drug it is reduced 68.88 plus minus 1.39 for caffeine before drug the locomotor count is 127 and after drug that count is increased due to the cns stimulant source yeah. so this is about experiment number uh, according to trinity publication according to pcs syllabus experiment number 16 and 17 i hope you understand this now what is the conclusion of this experiment diazepam produce yes anyone diazepam produce cns depressant effect whereas caffeine produce CNS stimulant effect. So I hope you understand the procedure, you understand the theory and you also getting the all the calculation part. I hope you understand the all experiments. If you have any doubt, please uh, send the message in the chat box. So thank you so much. Thank you, sir.